everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and welcome back to another mod review. It has been a good while since we last looked at any new mods but today I thought we would take a look at the Slice of Life mod by Kawaii Stacy. This mod is huge. It's a gameplay mod. It adds so much new stuff to your game. We will be going over everything. This is my first time actually using this mod. It has gotten a bunch of updates, so I'm really excited to try it out. The mod will be linked down below if you guys wanna go download it after the end of this video. So if we just read the basics, it says this mod focuses on adding more realism to the game. This mod adds physical changes to Sims based on mood, new buffs, and a cell phone menu, which is very similar to the social media mod which all sounds very, very exciting. So you've got a new phone. We're not gonna read all of this because there's a lot of text here. There's appearance changes. So like when your Sim is sad, they will have teary eyes. When they are flirty, they will have a blushy face, which I think is really cute. Oh my God, they'll have dirty hands when they're filthy and cuts and bandages when they're injured. How do they get injured? Okay. I'm nervous. If you want to read all this, just feel free to pause the video. There's new emotions, which I think is super, super exciting. Some of them are insecure, attractive, shy, lonely, jealous. Oh my God, that's exciting. Then we have talents. So yes, there's like a lot of different things in one mod, which all adds to your Sims life and the gameplay in The Sims 4, which I think is so cool. So talents are something that your Sims are naturally good at. So in the game, you will have to figure out what your Sims talent is. Like you can see here, this Sim is musically talented, which means they will be five times better at it, regardless of skill level. And they will also build the skill faster than the average Sim. I think this is really cool. I'm not sure what all the talents are, but we will be looking into that. Then we have preferences, which is for relationships. Your Sims have turn-ons and turn-offs, and these are discovered by just interacting with Sims or watching TVs and movies. I think you can also choose your own turn-ons and turn-offs, but you have to do it before the, the game assigns them for you. It says if the sim meets your turn on requirements, it will be easier to build relationships with them. And if they meet the turn off requirements, it will be harder to build relationships with that sim. Then we have the menstrual cycle from this mod, which is gonna be my first time playing with any period mods, which is pretty exciting. So it says you will get a buff that lets you know the official start date of your menstrual cycle. Your sim must be ages teen to adult to be able to get their cycle. The cycle will last for four same days and will come back 12 days afterwards. We'll look more into it once we get into gameplay. I'm not gonna read everything in this post for you guys. But next up, we've got some more in-game changes. Your Sims can now get drunk, which is <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, Sims can be a different type of drunk every time. Okay, we'll look into that. That's a gross picture. Your Sims can get acne, and that means they can also be able to do skincare, which is so cool. I wish we had that in the real game without mods. You can lose a tooth if you're a child. Oh my God, that's so cute. And then we have the better phone that was mentioned. I think it will have apps. I think they were mentioned a little bit lower. And then it says there's NPC invites, which means you, your Sims can get invited by their friends to all types of events and you'll be able to make new friends or bond with your current friends. And here are the phone apps that I mentioned. These will help you build your skills. As you can see, there's a lot of different like apps, you know, like on smartphones and now you have them in the Sims. So that's really cool. Oh my God, this mod is huge because next up we've got the sickness system. Your Sims can get colds or stomach bugs or headaches, all different things. And then you can go see a doctor to get cured. Here are some of the medicine, get treated at a hospital, get vaccines, menstrual products, that's really cool and then we've got the memory system oh my god this mod is huge this will add so much to your gameplay if you decide to download this so with the new memory system your sims will now be able to remember things that happened to them but like all memory some of them will begin to fade so for example in this picture you can see that this sim is thinking about his first kiss and he's got a flirty moodlet some of the things your sims can remember are if their parents got divorced or their first kiss or breakups or pet death. That's pretty cool because we don't have a memory system in The Sims 4. 
So those are the main things coming from this mod. If you don't want all of these features, it gives you instructions right here. You can delete some of them and only like get the phone system or only get the memories if you want to. But this will be linked down below so you guys can go check it out for yourselves. But let's jump into some gameplay and check out these new features. All right, here we go. I thought we would play as the Bjergsons today. I've also given them a makeover in the past, so that's why they look a little bit different, but we've got Sophia right here. So let's see, let's see what this, what this mod can actually do. So we've got a new pie menu here called Slice of Life that has a really cute rainbow icon. And then if you click on it, you've got all these different options. So let's take a look at these. What can you do in the settings? So you can choose your turn ons and turn off. Let's see what the different options are. So your sim can love people who have good personalities, family oriented sims, chubby sims, that's so cute, athletic sims, smart sims, muscular sims, romantic sims. Okay, and then turn off. So yeah, I'm guessing it's the same things. Okay, that's really cool actually. You can also choose your talent if you don't want to discover it yourself. Let's see what the different talents are. So you can be creatively talented, mentally talented, musically talented, physically talented or socially talented. I am not gonna pick one because I wanna discover it for ourselves. And then we can get drunk from here or remove the drunk buffs from the settings. Looking at the apps, some of the apps that we've got are right here. We've got Mama's Kitchen, which will most likely make you gain some cooking skill. You have Fishing Simulator, all different ones. Oh, virtual Puppy, that is so cute. I'm actually gonna have her play that game right now. Instead of practicing the piano, I thought that would be really cute. It doesn't seem to last that long. And then we have our inbox. Oh, send cute photos of couples, argue about nature, insult family. Okay, there's a lot of things you can do here. Ask for money, threaten to never see again. Oh, send money. Oh my God, you can send nudes. Okay. <laughs> I did not know that was in this mod. You can send I love you. I don't think she has a boyfriend right now or girlfriend. Let's send I love you to one of our friends. Oh my God, they have their makeovers too. Let's send it to Luna because we love her. We love all our Paragon friends. Send happy emojis. <laughs> Should we send nudes? I need to try this. Okay, apparently we can only send it to Luna. Sure, why not? <laughs> that is so funny. Oh yeah, we gained the pet training skill. That's awesome because we are playing the virtual puppy app on our phone. We're currently sending I love you to Luna. And here goes our first nude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, at least it's not graphic because I was not ready for that. Ooh. Okay, so we've got nothing popping up over here. Have we got, ooh, <gasps> first period. Okay, that's the only movement that we've got so far. From a first menstrual cycle, it is almost time for Sophia to officially start having periods. The cycle will come every 12 soon days and last for three days. When your sim reaches the age elder, they should no longer be able to get their cycle. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, what else have we got in this mod? We looked at the apps, the inbox, NPC events. So we can get invited. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you guys saw that in uh, when we were looking at the mod online. Shopping, oh my goodness, buy wig? There's a chance they will not, wait, there's a chance they will and will not wear your gift. This interaction will choose between cosplay and natural wig randomly. That's so cool. I want to order makeup. <gasps> Ooh, now we're confident looking good. Sophia's enjoying the new look. Did she actually change her makeup? I'm not sure. I was not paying attention. Also, she's really good at this piano. <laughs> we can order shoes, order natural wig. Should we? Oh, I'm scared. I'm gonna have her mom do this. <laughs> I don't care if she changes her hair because she hasn't got a headband on. So let's buy her order natural wig. Is she? Oh my goodness. Okay. She's got her new hairstyle. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. That's such an easy way to change the look of people and you can do it for like NPCs, I'm guessing. And um, we can take it off as well. Okay, good. Let's take it off. Let's go back to our actual hair. So I guess you can go shopping on your phone online, which is really cool. Then we've got the skincare, so we can do daily treatments. Your sim will do a skin treatment at this time on their own every day for 30 days. 
I love that. We have one time treatment and weekly treatment, which means they will do it every week for 28 days. Well, let's have her do weekly treatments. Let's see if she's actually gonna do it. Oh, she's doing it right now. Oh my goodness. Here is her facial mask for her skin treatment. That's really cool. And we've got a buff saying, time for my routine. Clara just put on the weekly skin treatment. That's awesome. Oh my God, it's snowing. Ooh, seaweed mask. Face masks are the perfect skincare treatment to help prevent acne. So I don't think any of our slims have acne just yet. And then I look weird. Clara isn't really feeling their new look. Okay, she was not impressed by the natural wig. Well, good thing we sent that back. All right, back to Sophia. I want to look at the social media thing. So with the phone, we can check what's trending. We can interact with our followers. Oh my God, post about being good at woohoo because we're confident. Um, heck yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, we can post about future promotions. Okay, apparently since we're in the middle of doing this, we can't do any of the other ones. Let, let's let her finish that. Oh my God, okay, so this, helps with the social media career because we just gained 125 followers on the road to fame okay so this mod works pretty well with other packs i don't think she had a social media profile before so apparently it works with that all right let's see what else there was to do post attractive selfie post about feeling confident you can update your status or post self love quotes that's really cute I'm gonna be posting an attractive selfie. I don't know if she's actually gonna do uh, um, the animation of taking a selfie, but I wanna check it out. Oh, I think she is. Why else would she be getting up? <gasps> yes, okay, good. That's awesome. I really like that. And I also wanted to check what's trending. I wanna know what the trends are right now. Okay, that's actually really cool. Beautiful image, it's perfect. We gained 12 followers, okay, great. Okay, so she finished checking what's trending. I don't think we really actually learned anything from that. And then the last thing in this pie menu is the treatment. Uh, oh, we can give ourselves the flu. We can visit the hospital. There will be a 70% chance of getting cured and we can buy symptom medicine. Oh, we just got a text message from Luna saying, do you need any help with the homework? If you do, we can do it together. I think this is one of the new NPC invites, so I'm gonna go do some homework with our bestie, Luna. Study group! That is so cute. Thank you, Luna, for inviting us. It says we are at event, which is awesome. So I'm gonna play around with this mod a little bit and then share all the new things we will discover with you guys. Maybe we will take a look at the periods and the turn-ons and turn-offs and talents and what else is there. I'll let you guys know. Oh, we did get a moodlet from checking what's trending. It says hashtag politics. Uh, a lot of debates are going on right now. Okay. Oh my God, there's actually a bunch of teenagers here, which I didn't realize. So that's a really cute study group event. I really like that. Wait, what? Attempt to steal money. This must be from this mod. What the heck? I'm gonna try to do that. Oh my God, he is embarrassed. And look, look at the blush on his face. So that's one of the new effects your sims can get based on their moods. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, okay. Sophia is trying to steal Michael's money. They despise each other. Oh my God, what happened to his face? Oh my god, he's got a black eye. <gasps> we fought. Oh my god, Sophia will remember this fight. Oh <laughs> my god. Okay, we're finally doing some homework with Luna. There's a storm outside. I was looking at her face and she also has something going on. <gasps> That's a pimple. She's got acne. I don't think we've got any. Also, I'm using like CC skin overlay, so I'm not sure if any of them could cover up the acne but look okay that's pretty cool and that's also super realistic and something we don't have in the sims 4 as well as periods so that definitely adds some realism to your gameplay there is definitely a lot of things you can do in this inbox app on your phone you can accuse people of plastic surgery you can call them ugly you can send fail videos send favorite photos i love that it changes depending on your mood time of the day etc 
Alright, so we're back home and I just wanted to look at some of the moodlets. So, Clara has the acne immunity from skincare. It says the treatment did wonders. Clara is protected against acne until this buff expires and it was two days. She's also feeling smooth and glowy. Clara's skin looks amazing. Okay, that is really cool. But I wanted to test out the getting drunk. So I think we're gonna have a Paragon meeting at the club. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't know what they're all wearing. Just ignore their outfits, but we're gonna go order some drinks. Here we go, we've got our drinks. So let's get the party started and let's see if we can discover the different kinds of drunk your sins can get. All right, so we've got our first moodlet that is dazed plus five. Oh my gosh, she's about to become drunk. It says, uh-oh, Sophia seems to have had a few too many drinks. Becomes drunk in 17 minutes. Okay, let's try this. All right, let's see what we're gonna get. What kind of drunk is Sophia? And she's also a teenager, so I did not support teenage drinking. Just to put that out there. She's got a cute little blush on. Okay, let's see. Sloppy drunk, oh no. Sophia is very drunk. This thing will act different than usual and we'll start sobering up in six hours. I'm not sure if we keep drinking, if the time will go up and we won't start sobering up. That would make sense, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, here's another effect that she's got on her face. She's got a little blush on her cheeks, which I think is really cool. Oh goodness, she is really drunk. I feel like it's about time to go home. Oh my God, she's cross-eyed and everything. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty hilarious. All right, it's getting super late, so I'm gonna be sending Sophia home. All right, so we started sobering up and we've got a new mood. Let's say sobering up, Sophia seems to be calming down. Okay, that is really good news. So something new I noticed for Clara, it says she's feeling anxious plus three, overwhelmed. Clara seems to be dealing with something serious. Okay, I don't know what that means, but that sounds serious. All right, so Clara has got another moodlet, headache. Wonder why Clara has a headache? Did this sim get enough sleep? Did this sim go too long without food? Did this sim spend too much time on technology? So let's see what we can do about this. I think we can just buy medicine. So let's take a look. Treatment, so we can get the symptom medicine. This relieves your sim of their most recent symptoms or we can go to the hospital. Now I wanna check that out. So we are going to go, let's bring Sophia with us. I do not think you need to go to the hospital if you've only got a headache that just started, but sure, let's do it. Oh my God, and she's got the new emotion, anxious, okay. But yeah, if you were wondering, the hospital thing is a rabbit hole, so they disappear from the lot. They don't go to the same hospital where you would go to give birth. But look, now she's feeling dazed, medicated, cure. Clara will have a high chance of being cured before and after this moodlet expires. That's really good news, so hopefully you won't have a headache after we come back, although this hospital visit is taking way long. Also, what is going on with you? Bjorn has got like, okay, he's tired, but like look at his eyes. He's got like dark circles under his eyes. I think I'm gonna go pick our talent for Sophia. So let's see, choose your talent. We're gonna make her musically talented and see if she becomes any better at this piano thing. All right, I can't tell if that sounds better. She's supposed to be five times better than her current level, but she's getting there and she will definitely be learning a lot faster if we take a look. So yeah, that is, this is times three a speed, but it is definitely going up. So now we had our first kiss. So from the memory system, Sophia will always remember her first kiss. That's really cute. So when she's old, she will look back to this moment. So here are some other new moods that we've got. We've got flirty plus three in the mood. Sophia is in the mood for love. And we have got good dreams. Sophia had an amazing dream, which is pretty cool addition to be honest. I want to try getting the flu because I think you could do that from here. So let's click get stumpy flu and Malcolm just called us and said, Hey Sophia, I'm sorry you're feeling angry. Let's go cool off at the pool. Maybe later. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> 
So let's see if we are sick now. It says stuffed up. Sophia is all stuffed up. <gasps> Oh my god, and we're contagious? This sim can spread sickness? Okay, that's kind of sick, actually. No pun intended. Sophia seems to have caught a virus. This virus will affect your sim's mood, skills, and motives. Once you're fully healed, you will not be able to catch this again for three days. So we recover in three days if we don't go to the hospital, okay? So we've got a headache from the cold. Our head is aching. We got a severe cough. Oh no. Sophia's throat is very itchy and then yeah, because of the flu, we've now got different symptoms. Our medicine wore off. I don't know if she's actually going to be coughing. We will see about that, but that sucks. I do not want to get sick right now. She definitely has this effect from the headache. I think I saw it before as well. So there are some, oh, there she goes. She is coughing. Okay. So yeah, there definitely are animations related to the illnesses too. So a little update on a few other things I've noticed from this mod. I have hopped on over to the Fires household and Moira has a bladder infection. It is unhealthy to hold your bladder too often. Moira has caught a bladder infection. This sim may use the bathroom more often than normal. Then I also noticed Morgan while at school, she's feeling insecure. Morgan is feeling really insecure right now and she's got a new emotion, which is super cool. Oh goodness, poor Siobhan. She's having massive breakouts. Oh my goodness. So it says, let's see, massive breakout from hormones or poor hygiene. Siobhan is very embarrassed. This is some serious breakout going on. This is way worse than what we saw earlier on Luna. I feel really, really bad for her, but again, very realistic, very cool addition to The Sims. All right, so it's like 1 a.m. right now. It's the middle of the night. Sophia is playing the guitar. She's actually really good. But as you can see, this buff is about to wear off, which means she should be getting her first period. So I want to see what happens. I'm really excited. I hope this works. I've been trying to get this to work for a while, but fingers crossed this time it will work. Looks like our mom came to watch us play and let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Here we go. She's very, very tense. Oh goodness, moody. This is a symptom from Sophia's menstrual cycle. Does she look like really upset? Oh, I'm so sorry, girl. I know how you feel. She also has a big appetite. This is a symptom from the menstrual cycle as well. And then does it say somewhere? Oh my gosh. Okay, so needs tampon or pad. Sophia needs a tampon or a pad to feel comfortable and smell fresh. This sim can either purchase one or take a shower or bath. I think when you do that, they automatically automatically put one on. Then, oh my god, there's so many things here. Temporary infertility. The whispering wishing well must have been created with the hate's children traits as it's cruelly made Sophia temporarily unavailable to conceive. Interesting. It's not from the wishing well, but like that's really cool because yeah, she's on her period, which means she can't get pregnant while she's on it. It lasts for four sim days, I believe. Yeah, cycle ends in three days. Menstrual cycle. Sophia is on her period. Your sim period will come every 12 sim days and last for, oh, it's three days. Okay, not four days. We also got, oh my god, periods are the worst. She also has a headache from her period and fatigue. So basically, she's moody, she's very hungry, she's tired, and she has a headache. All because she's on her period. Girl, I feel you. I feel so, so bad for her. So... What we need to do is we can buy some tampons, for example. I think we can just click on her slice of life shopping. Or is it from body care? Yeah, here it is. <gasps> Birth control pill prevents pregnancy and menstrual cycles. Okay, that's actually really cool. I wonder if you have to take that like often or if it's just like a one-time thing. Here we go. Oh, menstrual relief medicine. Oh no, I'm so sorry, girl. There you go, hope you feel better. Take some medicine. And then we will also buy her menstrual products. Let's do that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so fresh tampon or pad. Sophia is feeling fresh. She just changed. She's not smelly anymore. You could see she had, oh, does she still have the smell coming out of her? 
I hope not because we just put a new one on and here we go menstrual relief this medicine relieves menstrual cycle symptoms that's actually really cool how long does this last freshness runs out in nine hours so yeah you do have to change your tampon or pad every nine hours or so and it lasts for three same days and as you see as you saw it is very realistic your same gets like actual symptoms oh where is she going to sleep oh my goodness with her mom yeah okay don't know what this outfit is yeah your sims get like actual symptoms like in real life if you guys have had your periods they suck they're honestly the worst you're super moody and hormonal everything makes you upset and then clearly you can get like back pain headaches stomach pain everything sucks so that's so cool that they've added that all in the sims even this in infertility thing and the fact that you can take birth control pills that's a super cool addition actually adds so much realism to this game so there we go, I think we got a pretty good look at all the new things coming from this mod. It is a huge mod, so I hope I went over most of the bigger things. I actually think there has been an update since I downloaded this mod, so there's new stuff to the mod even now. So I might make a video later about the update. But so far, this mod looks really, really good. It adds so much new gameplay and so much realism to The Sims 4. Oh my goodness, Sophia, don't leave us. All right, she came to get a drink. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you wanna download this mod, it will be linked in the description down below. If there's any other mods you'd like to see me review, let me know in the comments as well. And that is it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.